Today I have two Gucci unboxings for you. One of them is in this bag and the other hasn't arrived yet, so I will put it in a clip later in the video with Autumn from the Future. They're both beautiful, colorful items, both small goods, both things I've had my eye on for a while. I was going to buy them new and then boom, they were discontinued and I regretted not buying them and have been looking for them ever since and they finally arrived. If you'd like to see what I got, what I've been so interested in, stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Now this first item is a more recent recent Gucci item. They're both fairly recent, the last couple years. And I purchased this from The Real Real, and it came in this little dust bag. I think this item is from 2021 because we're in 2022 now. I had to think about that for a second. Yes, even though we're well into the year when I'm filming this. Uh, so inside is something very cool, something that I did not realize the item came with, which is one of those little cloth Gucci bags that's been coming with a lot of purchases. This is the perfect size for a bottle or two of wine. It says Gucci 100. Excellent. I don't know what I'll use that for, but I'm happy to have it. And in here, oh, there's a little tag that says what the item is. And I also did not know it came in the box with the ribbon and everything. And this is the green Gucci box with the arabesque kind of patterns on it. And that's the first one of those that I have. So let's open the lid. Inside it has a sticker that says what it is. Won't show you that because we're not going to spoil the surprise. And we have the little dust bag, a little burlapy kind of dust bag. You can probably guess at this point what I got. There's a silica packet and some paperwork. This just came with everything. It's nice of whoever can sign it with the real real to include all that. Little booklets, two little booklets, care and communications. If I'm translating the Italian properly, who knows? I don't speak Italian, so I don't know. All right, in this little dust bag, I'm gonna reach in, I'm gonna pull out. <gasps> wow. This deserves close up bottom. Look at this. The Gucci Marmont card holder in green in the diagonal quilted stripes. Is this not something I absolutely had to have in my collection or what? How I resisted buying this brand new, I will never know. Well, it was because there were other things that were more important to me at the time. I paid just about retail for this. I think it was slightly over, but that's okay because somehow once it was discontinued, it was impossible to find. And often pieces will be on the pre-loved market. Couldn't find this one. So when I saw it pop up, I had to have it. And not only that green color, y'all know green is my color, there you go. But this, the detail on the G's with the little stripes and it's like a little green enamel or something. It looks kind of snake-like. It's very nice. Far Away Autumn is back. Now, one thing I notice about this is it seems softer and more pliable than my original Gucci Marmont card holder. Wait for it. Close-ups. So of course they're the same size and you can tell they're both quilted. However, one of the first things I noticed about this card holder when I looked at it in the store is, I mean, you can move it a little bit, but it's pretty stiff around the edges. It's pretty pliable. And pardon me for holding these in front of my face. It's because the camera will focus on my face if they're not in front of my face. This green one, however, is much more bendy. It does still have some structure around the edges and it has this darker green trim, whereas the black one doesn't have a different trim on it. But I really liked this line that had the diagonal stripes and the little striated GGs. I really would like to have had one of the bags from here, but, but you know, I guess you buy what you can afford and I couldn't afford one of the bags. I'm happy with the card case. Now it's time to see what Autumn of the Future has to unbox for us. I'm back in the future with the second Gucci unboxing. It's a bigger box. That doesn't mean it's a much bigger item, but let's open it up and see what this is. This is something that was really popular a few years ago and everybody was unboxing these. And I thought about getting one, I think, 
the one that everybody was getting, the sort of basic one, the standard one, had a green interior, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure what the color interior is on this one, but there's something special about this one that takes it a step up from the standard version. And my friend Dawn of Dawn Loves Couture here on YouTube, she has one of these in her collection. So let me show you the inside. And this is interesting. This is from The Real Real. And I opened a box from The Real Real last night, which you'll see in another video at some point in time. I have no idea when. And that video was a Louis Vuitton bag. It came in the Louis Vuitton dust bag, but there was nothing else in the box. There was no The Real Real dust bag. There was no receipt even, which is insane. This item also does not have a receipt. So what on earth is going on there? It comes in this Gucci box, the old black and white ones, and no, it's not a pair of shoes, a little tiny shoes. It's a nice little box. I can certainly use it for something else. I, I like that. And inside, we have an item in a Gucci dust bag. So we'll take that out, and still there's no receipt. They really could have done this up better and tied it and everything. They did a pretty terrible job. So I just tied it so that we have a little bow to undo. Let us undo the bow that I've made for myself. Here we go. Uncinch the dust bag. And inside... Is this correct? It's a little different from what I was expecting. I'm going to come closer so you can see it better. Inside we have the Gucci boxy cosmetic pouch. I don't know the official name of it, but this is the one with the flora design, Gucci's flowers that they're known for on their scarves and such. I'm not crazy about the red trim just because red's not my color. And when I opened the bag and I felt it and I said, is this correct? It's because this is very thin canvas. I was expecting it to be thicker and more substantial. So I'm gonna message Dawn when I'm done filming and ask her if hers is like that, cause uh, I just thought there'd be more to it. Has a little GG on the gold zipper pull there and a little red tab, which makes it easier to get it, get the zipper going. That can be difficult sometimes. Inside has all the little Gucci paperwork and the interior appears to be a very dark brown. Are there any pockets? There is one pocket here. You see it there, a little slip pocket. That's on the back wall on one side. And it says Gucci stamped there. And then it has the serial number on the back. I'm going to just inspect it a bit. It looks to be in excellent brand new condition. I don't see any corner wear. I don't see any marks on it scuffs anything else. I've wanted something for a long time in their flora print. I've thought about a scarf and I may still do that. I've thought about a Jackie bag in the flora, but this is a lovely piece that I think I'll be able to get a lot of use out of and I've been eyeballing it for a while. I do wish that leather trim was green instead. I think that would look nicer. That's just my personal preference. Nothing wrong with it. Far away autumn here again. I know that the flora print is not positioned the same way on each of the bags or the Jackie bags or anything. If you go through the pre-loved market and bring up the Jackie bags and flora, you'll see that the front of the bag, the flowers are in different places and there'll be different flowers. So I assume it's the same on this, that they print, you know, a big roll of the GG canvas that has the flora print on it. And then they just cut it into the rectangles to make these pouches and However the flowers fall is how it goes. I like this one. I think that looks really pretty with the purple flowers and the yellow daffodils up front. Are those irises, the purple ones? And then the pink flowers on the back. That's really nice. It's got a seam on the bottom. I don't know what else to say about this. It's a pouch. You put stuff in it. It's nice. And I wish the leather was green. And that is all. And I wish it came with a receipt because, hello, that makes no sense. I'm definitely going to be contacting the real real about that. Again, I contacted them about the one yesterday, too. I mean, somebody's really dropping the ball over there. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed these items. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.